Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We are in a three video series for the Measure of Love Stamp -a Stat class. Now the class is free on the blog here. It's a three part video series. We're on video number two. And this Stamp -a Stack makes three of this card. Sweet friend. And then look at the inside, look how cute that is. Our friendship tips the scale. Isn't that adorable? So this is the card that we're gonna make. If you missed video number one, where we cut our designer series paper and made this card. You're gonna to wanna to link back to that. It's under the video in the details, um, the description on YouTube. Uh, the quick links are also under the embedded video if you're watching on the blog. So that's number one, design number one. The Stampa Stack made two of that design. And then there's yet another video to come where we'll make this love you more card and Calypso Coral and the Stamp -a Stack makes two of this card. So the Stamp -a Stack makes seven cards and there's an optional class packet in the kitchen table stamper store. So I'm working on my class packet here and we're going to use the Just Jade cards. So I've got Just Jade cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. We've got three card bases and then we've also got just jade and this one is five and a quarter by four our designer series paper we cut this one from four sheets of designer series paper and a three quarter inch strip you can make all seven cards and so we cut this in the first video so i could show you how to do it with virtually no waste this piece is two by five and a quarter this floral the Just Jade Chevron pattern is one by three and three quarters. And this Bumblebee Monochromatic Floral is one by four and three quarters. Now the measurements are on the project sheet and it's printable at the blog, kitchentablestamper.com. You can follow the link in the description to get to the post. Now everything I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do times three because we can make 10 or we can make seven cards from those four pieces of paper. I've got a little label here. It's actually half of a label. So grab some scraps of Calypso Coral and punch yourself into these cute little swoopy squares. This is the Label Me Lovely Punch. And then cut it in half. So you use half a label for each card. All right, last piece for this card, two and a quarter by three and a quarter basic white. I'm gonna start with embossing this time. So we've got a panel that's gonna be raised up just a little bit, just jade on just jade. I love this um, smooth frame around the embossed panel. So let's go ahead and run that through. We're gonna use the 3D Ornate Floral folder. Pop that guy in and run it through. I also love to do the whole card front, but it's a little bit easier to run these panels through the machine without the back of the card hanging through. So it's always an option when I do an embossed card front. Now we don't do your embossing for you with your kit and we don't do your stamp in for you. So you can use whatever you like here. You can use a different folder if you don't have the 3D floral. I think the macrame would be super cute. Um, or you can stamp your backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and run all three right now and so I can do the whole stack. Okay, so I've got my embossed piece. Let's grab our designer series papers here. Gone ahead with my other two copies and done this step. We're gonna adhere our designer series paper to the embossed panel. It's a bumpy 3D embossed, so be generous with the glue. We're gonna adhere right to the bottom edge our two inch designer series paper with a multicolor floral. And then Bumblebee monochromatic floral and the Just Jade Chevron. Get some glue on the back of those pieces. I'm gonna add them in little banners. They're gonna hang off the edge just the tiniest bit and go on just a little bit of an angle. So cute. And burnish that down. Then we'll flip and trim. Got a just jade card base here. And we'll 
work that score line, fold the card in half. We're going to pop this panel on with a little bit of dimensionals, give it a lift so that it really stands out against that smooth frame around the 3D floral. Nobody likes a saggy middle, so make sure you get the inside too. All right, there's our card front. Let's get it on the card base center. Center it right to left. So cute. Now we need some stamping. We've got our little half labels from the card kits and some grid paper will protect our surface. Got that gorgeous text again from Quiet Meadow. We're going to stamp Calypso Coral on Calypso Coral and just wake up this solid piece a little bit. There they are, let's set them aside and dry for just a second and get Stampin' Pierce Matte. All right, Memento Tuxedo Black. Keep the Calypso Coral there for a second. Got your two and a quarter by three and a quarter inch pieces and scale. Let's go ahead and stamp scale on this panel with basic black or with Memento Tuxedo Black. Cute. And then the little dial, little needle on the scale. Got my sweet friend greeting here. We're gonna stamp that one in the upper corner here. Cute. And I've got two done ahead of time for us. Just get the greeting on there. Slide that to the side. There's Whisper White cardstock in your kit. Let me grab mine and see. You'll need two half sheets here and your paper trimmer. We'll slide the ink pads aside just for a second. I'm not quite done stamping, but we're gonna make some panels for the insides of our cards. So we'll cut five inches. And then We'll cut three and three quarters. Now that's the inside panel, and you need three of those. So cut those from the half sheets of white cardstock, and then we'll stamp the greetings for the inside of the cards on those. For the other half sheet, I'm gonna go three and three quarters, and then rotate to five. And now I've got three inside panels. And the larger piece is a scrap. We need some cupcakes for our scales. Let me show you that on the sample. Isn't that cute? Okay. All right, to so get my little cupcakes here. Now you're gonna stamp one of these for each card because you'll need four cupcakes. All right, let me slide this guy to the side and let's get the greetings on our inside panels and our inside panels in our card. I love the sweet friend on the outside, but I don't think it's finished. I don't think it says, it makes an entire statement. So on the inside, we're gonna put our friendship tips the scale and then we'll decorate with a little cupcake and it'll be the perfect finish. I'm just stamping with the Memento Tuxedo Black and putting my greetings centered best I can. All right, I'm gonna slide aside the black ink, grab my cards, and let's get the liners inside. That's a multi-purpose liquid glue. We'll do a nice coat. And 
and just center that inside. Okay, all lined and looking good. Let's slide to the side. And then just grab my little heart charms and my soft succulent ribbon here. Let's go ahead and make our little embellishments up. You're gonna need one of these for each card. So I like to just pull right from the card and I'm gonna slide through the charm. I know we don't tie it here because it'll just make it bulky. Just loop up, over, and then tuck and pull. You'll get a cute little bow heart charm combo embellishment. When you get a nice little bow, you can hold the loop and pull the tail. If you want to finesse, make it a little smaller, then we'll just trim it right away from the spool. And I'm going to make two more of these. Set them aside for last. All right, guys, let's go ahead and color our items. I did already color the extra two, the, so we have all three done. We're going to do our scale just like we did in video number one, where we're going to put a light so saffron base coat and shadow with some dark so saffron in the corners and up the extreme edge. And bring it together toward the center with the light so saffron and if you like a little bit of daffodil delight here and we're gonna really kind of reinforce the shape of the scale and it's got some dimension by running a little skinny line on each end and bring together with the dark so saffron looks great keep the so saffron for our cupcakes little shadow on the edge and just bring that together the dark into the light And here's our sweet friend. Now, for our cupcakes, we also are going to use Calypso Coral. Mint Macron Combo. As well as Dark Crumb Cake and Light Soft Suede. So we're going to make our cupcakes kind of look chocolate. I'm going to color four for each of our cards. And I'll just demonstrate once. And then we're gonna cut them out. So dark crumb cake, and then we'll draw a little shadow under the icing and down the left side with the light soft suede. And you don't really even need to do much to blend them together. I'm gonna do the top and then the bottom three, or I might do this one and then these three because these touch a little bit, so you're not going to get every single one of them out perfectly when you cut them out. So don't color them all. Just color about four of the six, and it'll be easier to um, go ahead and mingle the other two to get the four good ones out. So each of these little bases, because they're kind of small areas, you can work in batches are all the same. All right, there's our little cake bases. Now let's do our icing. I'm gonna do two yellow. So soft, or so saffron, we'll do light for the frosting. And then same left side where we did the shadow on the cake, we'll do a little shadow on the frosting on the left side and then bring it together if you need to. 
do another yellow one. I'll do two yellow, mint, and a coral. I'm just going to do this other little speckled one with the mint because then it looks mint chocolate chip. I love that. Maybe because that's one of my favorite flavors. And then again, the shadow down the left side. Maybe along the bottom a bit. And bring it together. All right, light Calypso Coral and dark Calypso Coral, the two shades are pretty far apart. The light Calypso Coral is um, very soft and pastel. And the dark Calypso Coral is a little bit more intense. I find that they're kind of hard to blend. So what I'll do is do a base coat of light and then bring the light to the brush tip on the dark, just picking up some of that dark Calypso Coral on the tip of the light Calypso Coral marker. And then you can just really bring those two shades together with a little bit more control. And then when you go to put the marker away, just make sure that the light tip runs clean. All right, now let's cut these guys out. So by just coloring four of the six, you can go ahead and cut them out a little bit easier. Where they're touching, it won't matter too much because we're not trying to save that. We're just going to give them a quick little trim. And I like to roll what I'm cutting out into a blade of the scissors. So my left hand, I'm right-handed, my scissors are in the right hand, my left hand is steering the paper. My right hand just open closing the scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other three and get dimensionals on the back of them. Okay, we've got them all cut out. And let's go ahead and we're gonna put dimensional, just a little mini one on the back of three out of four. All right, so there they are. We can slide them to the side for just a minute. We've got our sweet friend scale and our stamped label. Let's go ahead and adhere the label to the scale panel. Little line of multi-purpose liquid glue. Just make those two parts one. And I'll just pop that guy right on, nice and straight. I'm gonna go ahead and catch these guys up. Let's get them glued onto the card front. Okay, I do love to stamp a stack. When there's a whole stack of cards done, it feels so good. Let's remove the dimensional backing on our three cupcakes, and we're gonna add them to the scale. Such a cutie. Now the one without the dimensional gets a little multi-purpose liquid glue. And we'll embellish the inside here. Just give our sentiment a little flourish. A little tippy cupcake there. Now our fantastic heart charm ribbon combo embellishment. Let's get mini glue dot and pop that guy right on the label. So cute. All right, there it is, sweet friend. If you've got any questions about the project, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to see if there are optional class packets for this class remaining. Buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. And to, stamp, to shop Stampin' Up 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we'll make this Love You More card. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.